Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central. And if you have this Netgear Nighthawk R7000 router, the box looks like this. And it's an R7000 model. I'm gonna show you how to connect to it and log into the administrative interface so you can change the settings. So what we're gonna do is we need to you we need to connect to this router somehow. You can either use a laptop and connect a cable from your laptop to one of the LAN ports, or you can connect to Wi-Fi. You can connect using uh, a smartphone or a tablet or you know a, a Wi-Fi enabled laptop or whatever device you have. As long as it has a browser, that's all you really need. So I'm gonna use my laptop here because it's convenient to make a video with. I'm gonna go down to my network settings and I want to make sure Wi-Fi is turned on, which it is. And you want to connect to the Wi-Fi network of what is provided by your router. If you don't know what it is, then by default, if you look at the bottom of your router, it says your network name. The S it says Wi-Fi network name, SSID. Mine is Netgear 31. Yours is probably gonna be different. You're gonna to have to look at the bottom of your router or at your manual that came with the router to find out what your network name is. And then right below that, you'll see the password, network key, password. Mine is yellowflower456. Again, yours will be different. Now, this router actually provides two networks by default. One is 2.4 gigahertz and one is five gigahertz. So when you bring up the networks on here, you'll see this Netgear 31, just like it said on the bottom of the router. Netgear 31, that is my network provided by this router, and it's called Netgear 31. That is the 2.4 gigahertz network. You'll also see a second one, and it will be something like whatever your network name is. So for me, it would be Netgear 31-5G. So yours will be the same. It'll say 5G at the end. You'll see two networks with Netgear 31, and one of them will say dash 5G but only if your device supports five gigahertz, which this laptop does. I also know that I've changed my network name, so I've changed it to this, Home Network Central 5G. So I'm connected to that one. I've connected to that network. So now I can open up my, I can open up my browser and to get to the administrative interface, you want to type in 192, dot one six eight dot one dot one and hit enter now it's going to ask you for your username and password to log into the router now again for the default information you can look at the bottom of the router and it says router login username admin password is password so i'm going to type in username admin now again, this won't work if you have changed it or if someone has changed it. But if everything is by the default settings, this should work. I'm gonna try P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D and sign in and see if the default works. So it worked for me. I'm not gonna save this password and I'm gonna get rid of this. And this is how you log in. This is where the administrative settings are. This is how you can make any changes to this router. So if this helped you out, to get this far, please give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.